John Dawson, working hard to bring you the news on Friendswood Update. It's television just for Friendswood. <laughs> Sounds really funny. Senior honors were voted on last week and announced yesterday at lunch. Walter Smith and Jennifer Reyes were elected as Mr. and Mrs. FHS by their fellow classmates. Other awards include John Dawson and Dee Washacek as senior class favorite. Owen Edgerton and Sally Littlefield were voted most versatile. Most likely to succeed went to James Story and Gary Dayall. Adam Hill and Chris Colkhurst were elected per for Personality Plus. Tim Baker and Julie Langford were voted uh, cutie and good looker. Best dress went to Philip Hale and Karen Anderson. And Stephen Spencer and Karen Pelkey were voted the friendliest. And Sean Bennis and Sarah Shuffle won most courteous. Most representative was voted on by the facul FHS faculty only. And that award went to John Dawson and Jennifer Reyes. House, man. Thank you. Tuesday, the senior and junior girls faced off in their annual end-of-the-year powder puff football game. The juniors came up victorious this year, 19-16, on a controversial play. Scoring for the juniors was Jennifer Hulse with two touchdowns, including the game winner, and Kim Donnelly with one touchdown. For the seniors, Molly Milligan scored one touchdown and Carolyn Hoagland the other. The senior head coach was Jeremy DeBoard. The junior head coach was Gary Ashley. At halftime, the juniors and seniors performed with the cheerleaders, giving, giving the players support throughout the game. Oh, what was that? Ah. <laughs> also this past Monday, the juniors and seniors played their annual powder puff game. But before the game got started, there was a pep rally held in the girls' gym. The first performers were the so-called junior cheerleaders, although they had no coordination and no ability, and on the ability, the home crowd seemed pleased. Next, well, let's wait. Next came the awesome senior cheerleaders, who were perfect in every way. Precision. After that, it was a humility, humiliating, I think you would call it, a dance performed by the junior drill team. <laughs> the Senorita drill team that stunned the audience and mystified everyone, except for the juniors, except for the juniors at the pep rally, was a success. Peanut butter. When you just say those two sweet words, many things come to mind. Some might think of luscious peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, or peanut butter and crackers. But of course, you can tell a lot from someone between whether they like chunky or creamy. All I have to say is, just go to your local supermarket and pick up a gallon, because you can never have enough peanut butter. John, what's your favorite kind of peanut butter? Chunky or smooth? I'm a creamy man. Hey, I could tell the first time I saw you. Now at the expense of one last show, certainly not the school's budget, a crew has flown to some forsaken desert in the middle of nowhere to track down Saddam, I don't know when, to quit, Hussein. Brandy Urbanowski, along with Jason Candy, is standing by live, we hope, to give us a look at the military maneuvering disastrous man. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we're in Baghdad, Iraq, the scum of the earth, Saddam Hussein. I'm Jason Candy along with Brandy Urbanowski. We've tracked down this lowly man to get this exclusive interview. Brandy. Mr. Hussein, uh, the first question I'd like to ask you is, why do you build your happiness on other people's unhappiness? Pain. I like pain. I like to hurt people. It's fun and enjoyable. It builds character on people. Now, tell me exactly, Mr. Hussein, why did you do exactly what you did? Well, I told my guys 
I needed a can of oil for my car, and they took a whole country just for the oil. I don't understand why. Uh huh. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hussein. And now I'm going to turn it over to my fellow journalist, Jason, who has a few more questions for you. Thank you. Do you plan to invade another country? I might in the future. It depends if my uh, soldiers come back. <laughs> What'd you do with the extra food that you were going to give to your soldiers? What does it look like I did with the food? What'd you do while you're in the bomb shelter? I ate the food. How do you being how do you feel about being compared to Hitler? I'm honored, deeply honored. He was a great man. He knew exactly what he was doing. Okay, uh, Mr. Hussein, I have one last question for you. Now, uh, I myself, along with my uh, friend here, Jason, and most of the Americans in the United States feel that uh, you would do us and save us a lot of trouble if you would just commit suicide. Why don't you do this? Because I love me, and your people don't like me. Y'all should let me go on the way I am. And if y'all are going to try to kill me, I'm going to disguise myself. This Guys, yourself as? George Bush. George Bush? I think you'd have a better chance at Barbara Bush, Mr. Hussein. Well, that's it from the uh, center of hell. We're now going back to the studio in Friendswood with John and Adam. Guys, back to you. Hey. Oh. Hello. Hello there. Whoa. Several of the students that leave this class go on to study journalism. One of these students this year is Glenn Homer Griffin, Jr. A four-year mistake to this course. Here is a look at his development from a peon to, what, to a somewhat child he has hatched into. Glenn, when I first decided to do this story on you, I was thinking of all the old videotapes that I could bring up. My name is Glenn Griffin, and I was born February 7th, 1973. I've lived in Friendswood uh, almost all my life. I was born in... Houston, Texas. I don't know what hospital I was born in, so I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? See, uh, I have two older sisters that both went to Friendswood High School, junior high, and elementary, I guess. <laughs> and I like to, I like to go to Astroworld and the mall, but so does everybody else, I guess. And I like girls. Most guys do. Most of them, anyway. I like riding my four-wheeler. And let's see, I like, uh, I like cars. How frequently do you find kids doing donuts and swerves on school grounds and what happens to them? I personally catch it probably about one a month and uh, usually I either side them with a the ticket or give them a warning and uh, usually give them some type of school punishment such as D-Halls. This has been Glenn Griffin with MCS News. I like to rap. I think it's cool. Forget those classic Beethoven's a fool. What music do you listen to, man? Um, I prefer the more cosmic and universal tunes that have perpetual demons. I like the pure music for the masses. <laughs> Griffin Jr. and this is my second year in broadcast journalism. I'm 15 and well hope to be 16 someday. I plan to take this class all through high school and I've lived in Friendswood for about 13 and 14 years and as you know I guess now that I've gone to the school all my life. I have two sisters that are both married and have graduated from Friendswood High School and I like to play the guitar and ride my four-wheeler and, and I'm saying and a lot. And I really like to do autobiographies on camera because it makes me look dumb. <laughs> Randy Urbanowski, working hard to bring you the news on Friendswood Update. It's television just for Friendswood. 